I do have another video that's called um, adding fonts on a Mac and adding fonts on a PC. So if you open up a template and you get a warning sign that says, hey, you don't have these fonts, go look at that video and I'll show you how to change them. This particular template is using a font called Impact. Uh, most people have that. If you don't, you can find it at thefont.com. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take this image and we're going to rework. Now this template image here is A-0084. And if we're going to put this design in it, and this is one of our basketball kids, and it's BK40042. I just downloaded the black line screen print file and colorized it with spot colors, as you can see over here in the palette here. So let's go back to the template and kind of get it prepared. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my Layers palette, which is here. If yours is not open, go to Window and come down to Layers to pull it up. And I'm going to twirl down this little thing, because if you start working with some of these layers, it, gets, it makes life a whole lot easier. Uh, so if you notice, I can turn on and off each one of these little eyeballs and I can see which part of the template I'm dealing with, right? So what we're going to do first is I'm going to take the word Mandeville across the top. We're just going to take it all the way off. So that would be this layer and that layer. So I can turn off the eyeballs and they're gone. They're still in our file, but they're not going to print since they're not visible. So we can just do that to, to get rid of them. And if we wanted to, we can come over here and grab the eagle and click and delete. I'm just going to get rid of it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this bottom layer. That's the one that just says, hey, we're using this impact font. So I'm going to click on that and drag it to the trash. All right, so now let's go get this guy. We're going to go to the basketball kid one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the tab and drop it down here and just let it go. And that's going to make it put it in its own window. So as long as I have my black arrow tool, if I grab him, I can click on him like that. And I'm just going to move him on top of this document. And when you see that little plus sign, I'm just going to let him, let him go, and it puts him right in here. Now, what I want you to notice is this. Over here in the swatches palette, you see this second row? I can mouse over that. That says orange, red, blue, white, flesh color, that sort of thing. Those are the colors that came in with this particular design. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to change the, um, the colors in here. This is an orange color. Ah, we could use orange, but I'm going to change it to red. And we're going to, we could kind of colorize him or this whole image a little bit more like it like this little guy here so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce him a little bit so I clicked on the image go to my corner I can see my little scale tool if I hold my shift key that's gonna constrain the proportions to keep it um, the same dimensions or the same proportions rather so what I want to do is I think I want to put his foot on top of the type so it looks like it's designed to go there I'm gonna make him a little bit larger because I want to I want him breaking out that circle right so um, it's a little bit more important to me that he breaks that circle there. If I click off of it, kind of get a general idea. That looks pretty cool. So let's do this. I'm going to turn off the eyeball for him. So my layer's right here. He's at the top. I'm going to turn him off just to hide him so we can start working with this other stuff here. So if you notice, I could turn on and off the eyeballs and start picking and seeing what we're dealing with. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's go ahead and change this high school. I'm going to turn off the bottom layer. And over here, if you just select this part, this little circle, if I click on that, that gets like a double circle. That means that it's selected. This layer right here is selected. So if I go get my type tool, I can double click inside here or triple click for two different words. I'm going to set my caps lock down so it stays in all caps. And let's just name him Tiny Tots. Right, this could be Tiny Tots Basketball. I'm not worried about positioning the fonts just yet, so I'm going to come back over here in my layers, turn on the next one. I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to grab my type tool and do the same thing. Double click or triple click, rather. And I'm going to do Tiny Tots. Now I'm going to grab my black picker tool, turn the eyeballs on for both of them. So now if I hold my shift key and select both of these layers, I can come in here and drag it and move it over and now that I think I got it pretty close I could nudge it over with my right arrow tool and just kinda visually put it in place that looks pretty good right so now what I'm gonna do is uh, turn on my preview here of him so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make tiny tots the word the front of the word uh, red so I click to select that layer this one here select it I'm gonna Grab my type tool and do a triple click. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to fill it with my red color. Oh, there he is. And if you notice, if I turn that eyeball off, I have some red in here. It's not necessary that I that I have to click this one and, and do the same thing, but I'm going to. 
And the reason I'm going to is if I leave it in there as orange, it could possibly come into when I print out my separations, if I'm screen printing it, for instance, and I don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and make them both the same red. And there we go. So if I want to verify that and make my outline blue, the same color blue as the other image, uh, the little basketball guy, if I select it, grab my type tool, double click, triple click rather, and then choose the blue that came in with my image. Now I know that that'll print on my same uh, piece of film as the same color as the one, the color in his shirt. So now what we're going to do is we're going to change the colors in this oval here, right? So let's do that. So I'm going to come over here and I'm, and I'm going to select it this way so I can see in my icons, I have a little eyeball here. I can turn it on. That's the middle. So if I select it, now you see that's selected. Now this has a gradient in it. So if, if you want to mess with the gradients, you can come over here and double click the gradient icon. So here is the colors that we used in that particular gradient from the template. So what I could do is double click my left side and that's the blue. So I could make it the blue that came in with my image like that. In the black, I can use, that's the black that was in there already. So right here though, if I don't want this particular piece, because this is another blue, I could click on it and just drag it straight down and it it gets rid of it. So now it's blending from this blue to this black. And I can change the amount of blue by moving this little diamond here. So you can see that. So you can adjust the, the gradients this way. I could put more black in it if I wanted to. But what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the gradient altogether. I just want to do a, maybe a red circle on him. Now we're going to click on the fill here and select, click on red. And it's not a gradient. It's just a solid color now, which is, looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and change these two blues. So I can come over here and click on uh, one of these. That's the outside. So I can select it here and then fill it. Uh, let's make it blue. Let's make it the blue of the image and click off and then come over here and grab this one and it's just, it, when you click this little uh, circle it selects the image and I can make that the same blue of the image. So now we got something here that's looking pretty good but I don't like the way this circle comes underneath the type. Right? So what I'm going to do is we're just going to Come up here, I'm going to go to my fill color, and I'm going to make it the white, regular standard white, which means it's just not going to print as a spot color And if I'm going to screen print this guy. Now I'm going to grab my rectangle tool, and I'm just going to go over the entire word tiny tots. And I'm going to do like this, and I'm going to let it go, and I totally filled it with white. Right? So let's take a look and see where it's at. So in my layer stack, if I turn my eyeball off, it's way at the top, right? This the very top one. That's why it's covering everything. So I'm going to select it, and I want to bring it all the way down below the type. So now what we did was we just changed the stacking in the layers. So it covers all the circle stuff, which is making it too busy and too confusing. And then now we can read the tiny tots, and his bat, his uh, shoes are going across the front just like we want. Now the next thing we're going to do is change the soaring eagles, just because it is not a soaring eagle now. He is just going to be basketball. So I'm going to select that layer, grab my type tool triple click in there and we're gonna type basketball I mean my solid picker tool and I get it in position pretty close then I'm gonna nudge it over with my right arrow tools and it looks pretty good double click now because it's only one word and then change it to the blue of my image and just notice this again we gotta grab this these two stripes right and select it and colorize those with the same blue because we don't want to print two different blues for this particular piece uh, that looks pretty good i tell you what i'm gonna do one more change because i can do it right let's change this color i'm gonna grab my type i can double click in there let's make it red see what it looks like could be red could be blue could be black doesn't matter that looks pretty good so that's it that's how you change uh, our templates to create a completely new look it's just changing the type, changing the images. And remember, we just changed it all together by taking type off the very top of it. I just didn't want that to show because I kind of like this look here. And um, that's it. That's how it works.